Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. One thing this bike doesn't come with, despite its plethora of electronics, is a USB socket, which is a bit of a nightmare when I'm going out for the day and I want to keep my phone charged. So you have to buy that separately, which I've done, but that means one thing, that I have to fit it myself as well. Now we have a word for behavior like this here in Ireland called routing. What that translates to is that you haven't really got a clue what you're doing, but you're going to give it a go anyway. So this is what comes in the kit. That's the actual USB socket itself. And the thing which does inspire me with a little bit of confidence is that underneath the windscreen, apparently there's a loose wire somewhere waiting to be connected just into that end. So I'm not expecting it to be terribly difficult. That's the bracket which sits somewhere in the dashboard. That's a metal bracket and that's the grommet to go inside the metal bracket, obviously to secure that inside. So I think first things first, we'll take the windscreen off. So straight in at the deep end and I think once you find the correct size allen key and careful not to thread the actual screws uh, then there's literally four screws holding the windscreen on the important thing here is that when you tighten the windscreen back up not to over tighten it because uh, the lip on the windscreen is only plastic so you don't want to crack that also don't lose the screws on the underneath of the lip there's like a rubber grommet uh, which helps with vibration so it's the actual screw bit which comes out from what I can see because the rubber grommet is on the underneath attached to the windscreen. And a good way to get the screws out is just to help them out with the edge of your thumb uh, and that way you'll have good contact on it so hopefully it don't drop them. I did make sure I didn't do this on gravel. I'm on a, a sort of hard uh, a hard surface just in case I do drop the screws. Okay, that's that. The windscreen should now be ready for sorting out of here. Just like that. There we go. So I'll put that down somewhere where it doesn't get scratched. Okay, the next part is to take this uh, plastic piece off as well. Again, there's only two screws here. So ideally, you will need a socket set for this job. Uh, which is what I've got, a choice of about 30 odd um, Allen, key, Allen key fitments in there. So I'll just trial and error until we find out which one. I just want to make sure that I can't get my hand under there because that's where the screen is. So hopefully there's not a, a screw under there which is going to come loose. Same with that one. Now hopefully this should just slide out as easy as the last one did, or the windscreen rather. There we go, and there is where we have to find the wire for the actual USB socket. In fact, I think I might have found it already. Wouldn't that be great if that's actually it? Okay, I'll bring the socket over and we'll find out. <laughs> I've just checked the plug and it's not it obviously because they're different sizes there so I'm going to pop that back in there aha that looks hopeful now what I reckon is that because if you can see down there I don't know if you can on the camera but there's no terminals in there so that actually looks like a, a dummy sort of plug to protect the terminals and that is it folks there we go so that just sits in there like that that is brilliant that looks like the fitment but before i uh, connect it all back up and find out how to route the wire from the actual usb socket up into here i'm just going to turn the bike on and uh, pop in a usb lead just to make sure it does work so bear with me Okay, so just so you know, it's very unlike me to actually check if the system works before I wire everything up, put it back together, fasten everything up again, and then find out it doesn't work. So already I'm quite pleased with this so far. So I'm going to pop in the USB charger. It's just on my iPhone here, but that's a good way to test. So I'll just pop that in.
like that and already there's no power coming to the phone which is a good thing because I don't want there to be until I switch on the ignition because if there was I'd be worried that uh, the battery would go flat so I'm just going to turn the ignition on now and look at that the phone has just powered into life and we have a battery charging signal in the right hand top corner so the USB socket <laughs> works and is wired now I just have to find out where to uh, put it on the dashboard right great stuff this is going very well so far Okay folks, you haven't just seen this huge behind the scenes operation because it's just taken me ages to figure this out and I couldn't find it anywhere online. So this is the only way this bracket will work, trust me. And the key to it and the, the secret to it is to put the rubber grommet in first, otherwise you'll be there for hours like I have just been trying to sort this out. So all I can do really is just to show you a few different angles of how it should sit and uh, I'll let you try and work the rest out but it has to sit that way around with the screw hole there and like I say put the rubber grommet in first otherwise <laughs> otherwise you'll be on for hours <laughs> right now I'm going to fit it okay I've just realized one more thing to make things a bit easier you can do is the, the screen actually slides off it's on rubber washer so that's actually a lot easier um, certainly when you screw everything back together and I'm just wondering if I can now get the wire through this hole here rather than bring it over the top so that's what I'm going to try for so actually you'll need to have the screen off just to get good access if you've got anywhere near <laughs> normal size hands otherwise it's impossible you'll be fiddling on for ages with uh, long nose pliers so I've got the the actual nut into the bolt there and I'm just tightening that up. I'll make sure the USB socket itself is actually in place. So I'm just going to move the camera over. So you can see now that the the USB socket is going to be there underneath the screen when I tighten everything back up so just make sure I have a good fix there first then I'll put the pliers inside whilst I'm tightening up with the actual allen key for this I actually think it's easier to use an actual allen key because you can get in rather than putting in the big long screwdriver with the allen key on so i've tightened that up really good and well possibly too well because what i do need to do is to bring that back around there into place so i'm just going to hold it once more underneath with the allen key that's good and i'll give it the, the twist on the actual nut Okay, that's really nice and solid and tight. So what I'm going to do now, since I discovered that I could take the screen straight off, is to undo this once more. I think that's the third time. The actual wiring glue. And thread that through there now. So that's what I should have discovered at the beginning. But at least you'll know. Pop that in one last time. A good weatherproof seal on there as well that's really impressive to stop any moisture going in and that's it clicked into place so screen back on which i'm gonna have to lift the camera up to do that be very gentle with all these wires <laughs> And there's enough of a gap underneath the the bottom pegs for, of the actual screen for the wiring to sit. So that's it. So that sits 
nice and firm in there again. Just check the screen is all lovely and straight. Oh good, okay, time to place the uh, the windscreen and uh, everything back on. So I'll do that now and we'll have a little chat at the end. So that's it, all fitted, windscreen back on, and I did check it as you know, so hopefully it'll still work. We'll have one final check. I'll show you exactly the mountain position as well on it. Comes with the cover, obviously for when you're washing your bike, so it's all nice and neat. No wires at all shown there, which is really great. Clip that back over. Right, I'll plug in a USB. I'll stick my phone on the quad lock system first. We'll then put in the USB, turn the bike on and see if it all works. That's the phone on. I'll just pop the USB in this end first. Obviously I'll tidy up this uh, phone charging cable. I just want to see if it all works. Pop that into there. Right, now we turn the bike on and we'll get power to the phone then we know it all works. Look at that. The phone's jumping into life. There's the charging signal, top right hand corner. Would you look at that? It all works. I'm absolutely delighted with that. So a couple of key tricks there. Remember which way to mount the rubber grommet and to mount the rubber grommet first as well on the adapter. And also just slot the screen out once you've got the windscreen off. Um, I didn't know that until a good few minutes into the process. So that will allow you to get both hands in to get a good fix on the screw coming up through the bracket. So thanks for tuning in, folks. What a huge achievement for a Sunday that was for me. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, I'm Dave Perry for Wheelie Good TV, over and out.